Hello again, so today I'm gonna do a kind of ink swatching video because um, I am currently at my parents and I ended up bringing a bunch of inks with me uh, because I'm going to be having a friend coming over and we're going to be nerding about fountain pens and inks. So I brought like almost all of my bottled inks. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to do a swatching video because I needed to take some pictures of swatches anyway. That's what I'm going to be doing today and I'm going to do it in my Midori MDA5 notebook that you can see here. The stickers are the ones I put on myself. Uh, I don't think you can get these stickers anymore, but they're very cute. I'm going to be doing it in this notebook because I really like the paper for swatching. It's the same paper I used for my last swatching um, video which I did I think last year so that's a while ago but I used an A6 version of the Midori notebooks uh, I just think it makes really beautiful swatches I'm just gonna uh, there's some swatches I've done in the past I just think swatches look really beautiful on this paper and very rarely have I actually experienced like bleed through even though it's kind of like a heavier swatch uh, compared to something like Tomo River, where like you get really beautiful swatches, but you do end up it with like the ink kind of really showing through on the other side, like almost bleeding through, which I find a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna do it on this paper. I'm just gonna find okay. oh, it's from the other day. A new page. I think we're going to go with this one. This notebook is almost done. You go and for the inks you can see here I have two baskets full of ink um, so what I'm gonna be doing is that like the last time I did ink swatches I'm going to be using some q-tips which I just bought today because we didn't have any and I'm going to be writing the name of the ink using my Fabricastel Fabric Essential with a fine nib, ink with Giobon Bleu Calon still. Um, sometimes I do it where I will also like use a dip pen or glass dip pen to write out the name in the same ink, but that takes a lot more time. So I'm going to be using just one color to write out the ink names. So yeah, and in the background I have Fewest thoughts, head emptiest, video game music, video going in the background because it's just um, very chill. <laughs> I hope it's not too annoying. I can always lower the volume, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna start off with the inks. That diamond, happy holidays. Garfield Fabric Stall Electric Pink. Is this not the best kind of bottle? <laughs> Sailor inks. I have a lot of inks to do. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out like the kind of spacing I want to do. So yeah, this is not I started off with bad spacing. I might change how I do the swatches throughout it. So this is a shimmer ink, so I gotta shake it up first to kind of get the shimmer mixed. It's from the Diamine Ink Vent Holiday Calendar or Advent Calendar they did in 
That's a really beautiful color. I love that color. Okay. I love these bottles. These are the Diamine 150 anniversary inks. The bottles are these triangle ones where you can kind of like if you have enough of them, you can put them together and make like little cheese circles, kind of. And the inks in that series, they're kind of like, they're really well liked in the community. It's my impression at least. And I really like the colors I have too. I have one more color other than this one. It's funny, right? This color is actually, I think this is a deeper color than this one, but I swatched this one much more heavily, so this is what I ended up with. This is why I swatches on everything. really like this ink, it's Tudor Blue. It's kind of like a muted, slightly purple, global blue. That's a lot of ink. There you go. I love this color. Uh, warm clean nourish my outgoing. You guys have seen me talk about that. I love it so much. I actually used a lot of the bottle looking at it. I don't know. The ink level was lower than I thought it would be. And then this one is kind of special. This is Diamine Inks X Niche Pens uh, Collaboration Ink uh, Niche Pens are the people who have um, shore pens in... I think they're located in Wales, so it's a um, Welsh fountain pen stationery kind of store that have like an online presence and they have these inks where one is called Alexandrite and the other one is the Alexandrite shimmer version, so you can only get it from there. And I have the shimmer one. And obviously with Brexit, it's a little bit hard for us Europeans now to get inks from the UK like we used to. I used to shop a lot from the UK. And it's not really something I can do anymore um, because it's just too expensive. If I end up getting, you know, uh, additional uh, taxes and stuff to pay. This is sad because there was a lot of really good stores I bought stuff from.
I think Alexandrite is supposed to be a stone, maybe a precious stone, I don't know. As usually with these shimmings, as they dry, you start seeing the shimmer come through. This one both like shimmers and sheens, it's very beautiful. The lighting is all right it's changing a bit before it was sunny now it's uh, not sunny Next up are some of my favorite inks. I really like Giovanni like inks. The standard inks are really beautiful. So this is the ink that's in my fabric distal essential. And I just love like how vibrant it is. I'm really happy I got it back then in my um, first swatch video I did swatch that ink. And this one is a huge favorite too. I love olive colored inks and it's one of my favorite ones. I've used it a ton. Oh, I forgot to write the name. I'm sorry if there's like noisy flies, there's a lot of flies where my parents live because of um, two farms nearby. It's a really beautiful couple too with the turquoise and the olive. Ah. I think this ink would be one a lot of people would like. It's like a deep red. A lot of people really seem to like those kind of blood colors. Like uh, I know from Diamine, Oxblood is a really beautiful. Like it's a it's a really popular shade. Not really my kind of shade personally, but it's really popular. This one is an iron garlic, so it's going to be changing as it dries a lot.
next up uh, all of my Irushusuku um, palette Irushusuku bottles of which I seem to have seven colors so these ones and you see a lot of colors really change as they dry Sorry about the fly. I don't like them being here either. It's just um, it's actually quite difficult to get rid of. Okay, next up are some of my favorite things. So, this is a pilot Yamabudo. Which is a really beautiful color. And then we have Kuchaku, which I really love putting in my pens. We have two blues coming up. I have a lot of the blue pilot colors I've noticed. Um, but they tend to just be really beautiful. The, a lot of people's favorites are the blue colors by Pilot. <laughs> there you go. Now you know it's Nintendo. This is Kanpeki. I'm gonna be honest, not really the biggest fan of Kanpeki. I just think it's a bit boring. Which I know, like, compared to some of these other colors, it's like, oh, I guess Kanpeki could, like, is more interesting than, like, a washable blue, but it's just, I feel like it's a little bit overhyped for just being kind of like a vibrant mid tone turquoise. Okay. 
but you know, a lot of people really like Kanpeki. I just like Kujapo more than I like Kanpeki, or like I really like Suyokusa or Asagao more than Kanpeki. So, personal taste. There you go, the first grey. I don't really, I own like one black colour and I own two greys. Uh, those kind of colours I guess just aren't really me. So this is Pilot Hero Shisuku Kiri Same and Ri Obon Le De Profondeur, I think. Not sure if I said that correctly, but it's a really dark blue black that I really like. Okay, I'm gonna do one more ink on this page because the next inks are all diamond ink -wins. I think I swatched in the last video I did for swatches too. Because it was, I think it was one of the colors I got. There you go. Some of them aren't dry yet and this isn't the best angle for all colors you see some of them are shimmering some have a bit of sheen okay now i'm gonna switch swatch the diamond inkwind bottles i have i already kind of messed up the spacing in but i'm gonna be swatching these um I'm not used to filming from the side. These tiny inkwind bottles that came with the advent calendar. Now I don't have all of the shades. I think I gave away at least one shade, um, but I have 22 shades here with me, including Diamond Holidays, uh, Happy Holidays, which was the ink you got on the 25th of December. So that means I'm missing three inks. From this that I probably gave away or left at home. I don't know. So I'm just going to start swatching them. The thing with these inks, the diamond ink vent, are that uh, some of them have different, like uh, some machines, some shimmers, some are what they call standard. So there's like a little bit of everything, but all the colors are very like wintry colors. I 
There's a lot of tiny caps to get open. And obviously they're all like Christmas themed. Oh, I had some ink on my hand. These two colors look pretty similar. One is just a little bit more pink than the other one is. I switched two of the colors around, but they're very similar. Okay, I'm gonna try and Just changing the spacing a little bit. I really like this color mistletoe. I had it in my Sailor Pukka Slim like two fills ago.
the wrong name for that one. Okay, that was all of the ink the inks that I have. And as you can see, some of them are shimmer inks. So not all of them are dry yet. So yeah, that was all of the inks I brought with me. At the end of this video, I'm going to insert some pictures so you can really see the colors. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hi, hi.